Hey everyone, Mr. Mase here. This is God for Suzuka Circuit with the Nissan Multi Alta GTR. And let's get this started by mentioning that I have the brake balance at minus one for the time trial. In the race, I had it at plus one or one to the rear. But as you start your lap, bring yourself all the way to the left to give yourself a bit more space to get a faster start to your new lap. Now stay on the left side of the track and you're going to turn in when you pass the path that is on the left. And just after you start to turn in, that's when you want to slowly start to ease on the brakes. Do lots of braking control so you can still maintain the ability to turn as you're slowing down. And as the curb on the right ends, that's when you want to start to ease on the throttle. Now for the S's, it's all about throttle control. You just want to lift off of a throttle Use a tiny bit of braking for this right turn. Stay on the right. Do a little lift off of throttle. Once again, lots of throttle control needed through the S's. Now bring yourself towards the left. And when you're about to pass the 50 meter board, you want to apply a very quick burst of braking. Take advantage of the curbs. And then brake before the curb on the left ends. Brake hard for a short moment and you want to quickly transition over from the braking to the throttle. Eventually, you want to make your way towards the right side of the track, brake right as the curb on the right ends, and try to brake as much as you can in a straight line. When you start to turn in, ease off the brakes, then let go of the brakes for a quick moment so the car can rotate a bit more and slowly ease on the throttle then stay on the right side of the track. You're eventually going to want to look for a path that is on the right as you want to brake right as you're about to pass it. So right here, brake hard for a short moment, ease off of the brakes as you turn in, use a little bit of throttle, then before the curb on the right ends, you want to use a little bit of your braking power, bring yourself towards the inside of the turn, and slowly get on the throttle. Now for 130R, you can easily take it flat out. Just bring yourself towards the right. Look for the 50 meter board as that is your turning point. Once again, take it flat out, bring yourself towards the left, and then you're going to break at around the 130 meter mark, well before the 100 meter mark. Break hard for a while. Ease off of the brakes as you turn in, taking advantage of the red and white curves and the tealish area as that is still considered to be part of track limits and do lots of throttle control just trying to maintain your revs get the car straightened up and then fully accelerate bring yourself all the way to the right side of the track and you are good to go let's go ahead and take a look at the strategies for this race we are doing 10 laps here at suzuka circuit with the group two cars and i just want to make a quick note if you're starting around the final chicane, you want to make sure they have TC or traction control at one, so you don't get any wheel spin and spin out right at the start of the race. But anyways, so 10 laps at Suzuka, group two cars, fuel is a times two, so fuel is not an issue, but the tire wear is a times seven, so tire wear does become a bit of an issue. And as you're starting the race, just be aware that you have cold tires, so Drive a little more carefully, give yourself about a lap until your tires are warmed up and good to go. We have the racing medium and hard tires provided and both tires are required so you do need to make sure that you use both the racing medium and hard tires in the race so you don't get a one minute penalty after the race ends. And this is going to be a pretty straightforward one stop race where you try to use the racing medium tires for around five to seven laps. This will mostly depend on your situation, such as your driving style, or if you're always under someone's dirty air. So whenever you're within three quarters of a second between yourself and the next car, you're in their dirty air, but in a high speed section like this, so leading up to Spoon, you will be able to catch up a bit more to the car in front of you and potentially get yourself set up to go for an overtake, but if you have to go through some of the medium to high speed corners under someone's dirty air, 
then you're not going to have all the downforce that you need to go through some of these turns at your usual speeds, which means that you need to slow down a bit so you don't end up on the string off into Narnia. And also, if you try to really fight it out, trying to, trying to turn in a bit more when you're under someone's dirty air, you're only going to cause even more tire wear to your front tires, which means that you're basically increasing your tire wear. So dirty air is a bit of a bad thing, especially when you're going through the medium to high speed corners, which means that undercutting will be a pretty big strategy, uh, especially if you're starting towards the middle or the back. If you're starting in the very front, you can start under racing medium tires, but if you're starting closer towards the middle or the back, start under racing hard tires because the dirty air is going to make it really difficult to get any sort of passing done and you will need to consider when to pit to try to go for an undercut, try to take advantage of the clean air and hopefully you're able to gain some positions as other cars are pitting in and out. So if you haven't noticed, I actually started on the racing hard tires because I started towards the back of the pack for this race. So I want to get the slower tire compound out of the way. And now I'm three laps in, so I'm doing three laps on the hard tires, and then I'll be doing seven laps on the medium tires. So I'm going in to switch over to the racing medium tires, get the last tire requirement out of the way. I calculated the pit loss to be around 17 seconds. And also, there's no need to refuel because you have more than enough fuel to be able to complete the race. So now I'm on the racing medium tires. Luckily, there's no one in front of me for a while, so I can take advantage of the clean air, the downforce, take advantage of that, and try to go as fast as I can with my new set of racing medium tires. And taking a quick look towards the end of the race, there's quite a bit of tire wear, so you want to be pretty careful with these tires, try to take good care of them, try to avoid the dirty air if possible as that will speed up your tire wear. And you want to try to use the racing medium tires for 5 to 7 laps, preferably 6 to 7 laps if you can make them last that long. And in terms of go-to car, the only car you really want to think about is the 2016 Nissan Moto Altec GTR. It's pretty much the OP car for the group 2 car class. But anyways, that's going to be it for this guide. Once again, one stop race, use the racing medium and hard tires. And that is all for this guide. So I'm going to sign off now. Uh, thank you guys for the support. Thank you to Placey for supporting the channel as well. This is Mr. MCA wishing you guys a good race and I'll see you in the next video.